Good morning, you guys. I really treated myself this morning, made a sunny setup, eggs, bacon, the whole nine yards. It's officially summer. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm literally on my like grading website right now because not all of our final grades are in yet. Like I'm done, but I'm like, I still like constantly check because I just want my grades. Drinking a cup of coffee. Um, It's definitely one o'clock. <laughs> I may have slept in just a little bit. Um, but yeah, I've got a big to-do list. I'm waiting for Brooke to FaceTime me. We're about to record this week's episode of Gals on the Go. Um, I've got pimple cream on my face. It's really it's really cute, actually. It's a big look. Um, this is my outfit for the day. Um, Gals on the Go merch hoodie. We're doing a restock soon of the green and the blue. Then I'm wearing my Birkenstocks, so it's a look. I do have shorts on, by the way. It's a rainy day here in Athens. Um, I'm okay with it though, because I have a lot of computer work I need to get done. And like I said, Brooke and I are about to record an episode of Gals on the Go, which always puts me in a good mood. After that, I really want to work out. I haven't worked out in like two days, and I just like feel it. Like I just feel like anxious, like wet. And yes, yeah, so that's kind of the vibe, but I thought I would do a little weekend vlog. It's Friday. Again, sorry about the zit cream. It's Friday. Um... And yeah, it's just a weekend alone in Athens <laughs> um, in my apartment. I still love being here. It's just been the absolute best thing. And yeah, I'm just taking you guys on a little weekend. Um, so, <laughs> I got a package in the mail from Nasty Gal. I have been eyeing everything on the website right now. They have so many cute like loungewear pieces, swimsuits, like they just have everything perfect for like this time right now. And everything is so inexpensive. I swear every time I'm on the website, everything's half off. It's ridiculous. I'm literally so excited to show you guys what I got. Some great pieces, obviously. I'll link everything down below for you guys to check out for yourself. But I found some very fun loungewear stuff. So I always like to share this with you guys. Woo, all right, here we go. It's kind of like a surprise for me too because like I kind of forgot what I got, you know? Oh, we've got the first loungewear set. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So this is a gray set that I picked out. Out. Um, this is the top, you know, simple gray um, knit sweater, and then it comes with these joggers, which are so hype. I'm so excited to try these on. Like, holy crap, these are gonna be awesome, and like, they obviously go great together, but then also, I'd like totally wear these joggers with like a crop top of itself, and I feel like that would be so cute, vice versa. Um, so love that and I love how they sell things together in sets. It just makes everything easier for us. Next up, we got another set. Surprise, surprise! I think Brooke has this one or something like it, so I was like, I need it. Um, so the top is obviously just like a black long sleeve for reference. I got it in a size medium, USA medium. Um, it's just like a black crew neck, nothing crazy. And then some black sweatpants, because I don't have a pair of black sweatpants. I have gray ones that I'm wearing right now and tan ones, and I've been really wanting a pair of black ones. Um, and yeah, I think these are just going to be so awesome. I'm really into the look of like sweatpants with like crop tops or honestly like bodysuits tucked in with like some cool sneakers. My style has honestly really changed. It's kind of weird. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think these are going to be great separately and then also together. I think as the weather starts to warm up even more, I might crop this. Maybe I'll just crop it right away. I feel like that could be really fun. Next up, I'm so excited. I got these biker shorts because I only have one pair of black biker shorts and they're just like they're that material that like pills really easily whereas these are like more of a spandex um more shiny pair i guess they're kind of more fashionable they're better for wearing with like crop tops or with you know graphic tees kind of more of a stylish vibe and they were so inexpensive i got them in a size usa 4 for reference um and they're high-waisted again i just love this material i think this is going to be a good length we'll see when i try them on but yeah, I just realized I didn't have like a trendy pair of biker shorts and I truly have been into the trend. I got this plain white t-shirt dress. I'm really into wearing big t-shirts right now with just sneakers and socks. Who am I turning into? Oh my God. Um, but I really liked this and this was perfect because you don't even need to buy it necessarily oversized because it's one size. Obviously one size fits other people however they want, but so I'm hoping this will fit me in a dressy way. We'll see. It was marketed as a um t-shirt dress so i'm hoping for the best but um yeah i really like it i think it'll look really cute and i also think i'll probably wear this with those black spandex biker shorts underneath just for like a little peek you know peeking up under the bottom with like a low bun some hoops sunglasses sneakers so the bottoms of this set are cool they're <laughs> cool they're cool lots <laughs> um and they're just this white slub knit i think or like waffle knit i don't really know you should really know this um, but these are the pants. I think these are awesome. Again, 
to wear on their own or with this top and this is the sweater that it came with and it looked really really cute on the model like this is just total bougie like lounge wear like I totally see myself like I feel like this is like Olivia Pope if you guys ever watched Scandal this is something she'd wear like drinking her like large glass of wine on her bougie couch like I feel like that's a vibe especially for quarantine so yeah and I tend to keep my apartment pretty chilly so I can wear things like this and it's like kind of chilly in Athens today very strange this top I've been seeing everywhere and it's always sold out wherever I'm trying to find it so I finally got my hands on it it's just this white boxy um, t-shirt and it's kind of like cap sleeve sleeves and these this one actually has um, shoulder pads in it which I think is so awesome so it really gives that definition of the look you're wanting I think this would look so dope with either those biker shorts I showed you guys or tucked in in the front to any of these like the black joggers again with like some cool cat eye sunglasses some like gold jewelry really really into that aesthetic right now um, and it's just like a simple t-shirt obviously but yeah and I got it in a size US 4 um, so yeah, I wish they I wish I got other colors in that it's so cool. I did get another color in this Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of myself. Wow. I just must have not remembered this I got it in black as well and the shoulder pads in this one are black. How funny Um, but yeah, I got this in a size us4 as well same idea <clears throat> I just really like this look and it's such a basic it's great to wear with like denim shorts, too I really want to get some um, Platform high top converse like wouldn't that be really cool? Um, that's for another day <laughs> anyways Love, love, love those shirts. And last but not least, I got this fun little just graphic tee, but I loved it because it was long sleeve. There's sometimes, I don't have a lot of long sleeve crop tops and I really, really like the look. Like I kind of wanted to wear a long sleeve crop top with my sweatpants tonight, but I just couldn't, I didn't really have any. I love it, it kind of has that like lettuce bib lining on the bottom. I forget like what it's actually called, but you know, that kind of vibe. And then the sleeves are normal, but then it just has these two little tigers in the front. Very cool, Tiger King vibes, no I'm kidding. Um, I actually never really watched that show, I watched the first episode, are you guys mad at me? Um, but yeah, love this top, and ooh, this would look really cute with those black sweatpants as well. So yeah, those are the pieces that I just got in the mail from Nasty Al, I was just so excited to open them, and I thought I would open them in front of you guys. Record with Brooke, let's get it, woo! We literally, every time I post a photo on Instagram, whether I'm wearing the merch or not, it's like, when's the next merch restock coming? Like, we're, it's literally, I mean, I'm literally in the pink hoodie right now. We love our Gals on the Go tie-dye hoodies. They're so much fun, and we have so many other ideas of plans. All right, guys, Brick and I just finished recording. Might be one of my favorite episodes we've recorded yet. Obviously, our Juicy podcast was just, like, so good. But this one, we talk about overthinking, overanalyzing, staying true to yourself, and not feeling bad about speaking your truth. It's such a good episode, like... Seriously, when this comes out, you guys need to listen to it. It'll be coming out Wednesday, May 13th. So, yeah. Um, but I just grabbed my weights. I've got a little workout outfit on. This is from PurebelloCycle.com. I love this. This is one of the Shine sets. It's so perfect. You can obviously just buy the sports bra or the leggings separately, but I'm seriously obsessed with this set. It's very, very flattering. I'm going to do an arm track of the day. I've been really into these arm workouts. Purevelo Athens, the spin studio I teach at. They have been posting an arm track of the day um, IGTV every day, or every weekday, I guess. Um, and yeah, I've talked about this before, but I'm gonna do today's that Maxine did. Oh, we're matching today. And Good yeah, morning. see you guys soon. Um, thanks for, for being here this morning. Uh, I've been feeling so much support. to do some cardio of some sort i'm in the mood to continue to move and i'll check in with you guys after hey guys so i just finished my workout i'm a little sweaty but i'm in my parking deck now i'm about to head to trader joe's i'm so excited i haven't been to trader joe's in so long i've got my mask i'm ready to head on in i want to get some new flowers for my kitchen they always make me so happy and there's just some specific things to trader joe's that i have been craving lately um, they have like rice and bean burritos, just some random stuff, and I need more bread and some fresh produce. And their produce, I find, seems to be a little bit cheaper than like Kroger, for example. So I'm in the mood. Um, it's a little bit further away. It's like 10 minutes compared to like five minutes, but I'm in the mood to listen to some music. I feel good after get, releasing some endorphins, and yeah, let's do it. All right, we made it to Trader Joe's. You know how it goes. All right, let's get to work.
<laughs> oh man, that was intense, you guys. Like, I love it because, as you guys probably know, Georgia has opened up a lot, um, for better or for worse. Um, and I think it's really great. Trader Joe's is still taking social distancing super, super seriously. Like, you have to wait in line six feet apart, and if you come with someone else, you're not supposed to like go in with them. It's like one person per household. Like I literally saw a couple come up, wash, wash holding hands, and they told them one had to sit in the car. So um, I really think it's awesome that they're taking it so seriously, and they're being so positive about it, and they have all these cute like signs about like why you should be wearing a mask and everything. And I don't know, it was a pretty cool experience. They had like zero flowers though, so I just got some like really random flowers, but. Yeah, good experience, and I'll show you guys what I got when I got home. Listening to Gretchen's podcast right now about overcoming negativity as an influencer, and oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, I thought I would show you guys what I got from Trader Joe's today. I love going to Trader Joe's. just puts me in such a good mood, and they just have some really unique stuff that you just can't get other places. So, trying some new things. Got some oldies that I also always love. Trying these chicken gyoza pot stickers. Um, they were in the freezer section. Needed some more dish soap. You guys know I love these bean and rice burritos. They're perfect. Got some hard boiled eggs here. I love the Trader Joe's green juices and I just like haven't had green juice in a minute so I'm excited. Also an old favorite, $2 um, Pinot Grigio. <laughs> Two more kombuchas, blueberries. I got some breaded chicken. Um, not the healthiest obviously, but um, I just thought they'd be good to like eat with ketchup for like lunch. They didn't have my turkey meatballs so I got regular meatballs to make with pasta. Um, I got some more bread. I got the whole wheat bread. I've had it before. I like it. So some tortilla rounds, some salsa. I've never had this salsa before. We'll see. Blackberries, bananas, gluten-free pretzel twists, and then the spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip. This stuff is amazing. This, like, together is, like, a vibe. Brooke introduced me to this exact combination when I visited her in New York, actually, like, ages ago. And so good. And then baby carrots, obviously. So I'm gonna put all this stuff away, but yeah, that's the haul for today. Totally just chowed down on some of the spinach and kale dip, um, but look how pretty the flowers look. It just makes me so happy. I think these are called, there's like a real word that starts with a G, I think, but I've always called these um, baby's breath, I think. Is that weird? I also have been really into, this is really random of me, I'm usually like into drinking my hydro flask, but just like getting a glass of water with ice and a straw and just chugging it and just constantly filling it up. It's been really satisfying for me. I think it's just because I've been at home more so I can just like have this around. And it's funny in Gretchen's podcast I'm listening to right now. She's like, I literally am just thankful for ice water. Like she's talking about being grateful and the little things. That is true. All right. I also currently have a face mask on. I have the Summer Fridays Overtime Mask. I love this. It's exfoliating. It's just great when I just bleh. So I'm going to take a shower and wash this off. My hair is pretty good. I'm not going to wash it. But yeah, I'm still in my sweaty workout outfit. That's really gross. Also, I just got this package in the mail from Sephora. I reordered the Sunday Riley CEO Glow Face Oil. This stuff is absolutely amazing. It, ma it smells so good, one. And I just can tell a difference in my skin. It makes my skin super glowy. And it just, wow, it really just does it. And then Delaney actually showed me this. This is the Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% Mask. I love it. I used it. Um, I used hers. And I really, really liked it. It was really inexpensive. So I thought I'd give it a go myself. So I'll have these linked below as well. All right, guys. It is time. I've got just a little bit left of this beautiful rosé. I actually got at Costco. The brand is, or it's called Ame Duvine. Um, I highly suggest, I don't know what's up with me, but I've been liking rosé lately, kind of random. Um, and obviously Pinot Grigio, but so I think I'll just, oh, <laughs> that is what we call a house pour. Oh my gosh. Well, no need to worry. I will finish that. I mean, come on, you guys, this is just like, that should be illegal. Look at how beautiful that is. It's, it's the simple things, you know? <laughs> All right, guys. So we've got the rice. Just heat up, heated, heated up some black beans. <laughs> we got chicken with chili and lime seasoning. And just a little bit more chicken going. We're good to go. I'm excited. Woo! All right, so we're doing some buffet style. We've got the black beans, the chicken, the rice. I think it's gonna be a fun little, little dish here. So things have progressed, you guys. And um, Ryan had the idea to go in my fridge and I had all this fresh produce, so we're kind of doing like a Mexican bowl vibe now. We've got shredded lettuce, cut up a tomato, put some salt and pepper, a little lime, 
You think we're gonna finish all of it? I mean, leftovers are kind of hype too. I bet you, I'll, we'll finish it. We'll finish, we'll finish it. it. Um, I'm really excited. So we're gonna put them all together and we'll show you guys what it looks like after. All right guys, here's the final product. Updates to come on how it tastes. But I feel like it should be pretty good. Ryan's making his right now. You gotta add the chicken. Wow, else. yours is so much prettier. <laughs> what? That never happens. <laughs> All right, guys, here's the final product. Updates to come on how it tastes, but I feel like it should be pretty good. Ryan's making his right now. You gotta add the chicken. Wow, else. yours is so much prettier. <laughs> what? That never happens. <laughs> I'm offended that his is prettier. <laughs> done now. Woo! Editing my vlog that I'm gonna post tomorrow. I'm drinking one of my Trader Joe's green juices. Wow, I missed these. So this has now become my office. I just have been sitting here. I had to go get all my chargers and I've literally been sitting on the ground but like I'm really content with it. So going to continue doing this. <laughs> Having a little snack. This is like the best combo ever. These gluten-free pretzel twists and spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip. I'm taking a break from my work. Peter's over there watching a little All-American. It is time to go for my daily walk. I love walking around, especially on North Campus. I'm so thankful that they've kept it open for people to, you know, get their daily exercise and just walk around, especially during this time of day. And I'm doing something really, really fun around sunset for dinner tonight that I can't wait to show you guys. I feel so Tumblr. You'll probably, you'll probably already know what I'm doing, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, um, like a white boxy crop top, um, black leggings, sneakers, and a denim jacket in case I get cold. Okay guys, so we have made it to a random parking deck in Athens to watch the sunset facing west. Always wanted to do this, what better time? So we've got our food, we ordered a Michi to go, got a deck of cards, we're gonna play, Brian's gonna teach me how to play Texas Hold'em. There you go. Apparently. Yep. Salad, got some wine, speaker, pillows, really, really doing it up, so. <laughs> guys i finally hopped out of bed um, it is now almost 10 just hopped on hopped on popped on a workout outfit because i'm gonna do a workout in a bit but it's mother's day and um i am setting up a zoom call to obviously talk to my mom i miss her and um, i'm gonna see if my grandma can get on too i know she knows how to use zoom so we'll see um i'm just picking what cup i use how funny Hustle. This is my old merch, like my Dan Fam merch from like ages ago that you cannot purchase now. But um, yeah, feeling feeling sleepy this morning. Making a cup of coffee, and I am going to get my computer and set up this Zoom call. It's honestly such a pretty morning, and I called my brother last night and I gave him all these instructions. I was like, you must make mom breakfast in bed um you know bring her breakfast so i hope he did it we'll see if he did it i also said to go get her flowers and i obviously sent her something in the mail so we'll see if that actually happens all right set up the zoom call emailed it out gonna see if people start to join 
Here's my little outfit of the day. I'm wearing the Pure Velo, um, one of their like shine sets, the leopard one. I love it. It's on purevelocycle.com. Drinking a cup of coffee with a bamboo straw because I find that when I drink it with a straw, I get caffeinated faster. How funny. Oh, mom wants to enter. Happy Mother's Day! I mean, wow, it fed me so Hey guys, it's been a minute. It's now 12 o'clock. I had a really long Zoom call with my mom, my aunt, and my grandma. So it was like a ton of generations, so much fun. And then right after, I did a good old sweat sesh. I did a Prevello arm track of the day. And then I did some cardio. And I'm really sweaty and really, really, really gross. My hair, blah. So I'm gonna shower. But I'm gonna end the vlog here because I'm about to start a new vlog because I'm gonna do a huge deep clean of my apartment. So excited. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this little weekend vlog, kind of random, but I really do like sharing, you know, my adventures with you guys. Love you guys, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!